Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Walter Klondike from Convention Hall, Miami Beach, bringing you the first get-together convention of Republicans and Democrats alike. We have Henry Kissinger and Vice President Agnew standing by on the right side of Convention Hall. Come in, David Stinkley. Thank you, Walter. Uh, Mr. Kissinger, amid this historic moment, with all the pomp and grandeur of the political system of America all around you, tell us, sir, what are your innermost thoughts at this very moment? Gotta find a woman! Gotta find a woman! Gotta find a woman! Gotta find a woman! Uh, Vice President Agnew, what are your thoughts, sir? Right on! Mr. Agnew, when you heard the rumors that President Nixon might not select you as his running mate again, what did you say to him? You never should have promised to me. Give it here. Don't hold back now. Give it here. Don't say nothing. Just give it here. Come on. Uh, Mr. Agnew, if you were in Senator McGovern's place, who would you have chosen as a running mate? Bertha. Uh, Bertha who? Bertha Butt. Who's she, sir? One of the Butt sisters. Do you agree, Mr. Kissinger? Gotta find a woman. Gotta find a woman. Gotta find a woman. Thank you, Henry Kissinger and Vice President Agnew. Back to you, Walter. Thank you, David. Now, Sidney Bruntley is over on the left side. He has Sergeant Shriver with him. Sergeant Shriver, what did you say to Senator McGovern when he finally asked you to be his running mate? You just call lonely brother when you need a hand. How did you finalize your agreement with Senator McGovern? Sealed with a kiss. Oh, shades of excitement. One final question, sir. What kind of offer did Senator McGovern make you? He made me an offer. I couldn't refuse. Sidney, forgive me, but our roving reporter, Larry Reasoning, has Martha Mitchell on the microphone. Take it away, Larry Reasoning. Uh, Mrs. Mitchell, would you like to talk to our listeners? I'll suck it to you, daddy. Now that your husband has resigned from politics, how do you feel, man? I'm the happiest girl in the whole USA. Mrs. Mitchell, your complaint was that your husband didn't have any time to spend with you. Now that you are alone, ma'am, what do you talk about? Well, I can understand that, Mrs. Mitchell. Now back to you, Walter. Sidney Bruntley is on the left side of the floor with Mr. and Mrs. Eagleton and Senator McGovern. Take it away, Sidney. Thank you, Walter. Senator McGovern, how did you feel when you and Senator Eagleton first separated, sir? Come on again, naturally. Oh, yes. What did you do then? Coach Dr. Hooper. And what did your physician advise? Put the lime in the coconut and call me in the morning. Everyone was turning you down, sir. If Sergeant Schreiber had also refused, who would you have turned to then? A horse with no name. Oh, I love horses. Now, Senator Eagleton, how does one feel in the morning when his world has been shattered, sir? Well, you wake up in the morning and your hands are shaking and your nerves are all up tight. Well then, Senator, why didn't you resign immediately? Am I wrong for trying to hold on to the best thing I ever had? Yes, and what are your feelings now towards the people who opposed you? They smile in your face all the time they want to take your place to backstab us. One final question to you, Senator Eagleton. What did you say to the newspaper columnist when you met him face to face? Liar! 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 Senator McGovern, what are your feelings on that, sir? How can a loser ever win? Mrs. Eagleton, would you like to answer him? Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stop? Who do you think will vote for Senator McGovern now that your husband is out? Ma'am, do you think you could have done more for your husband during those trying times? I know it's not my fault. I did my best. Thank you very much. Now back to you, Walter. There's a commotion on the left side of the floor. We've got Senator Kennedy standing with Jane Ronda. Take it away, David Stinkley. Uh, Senator Kennedy, people are talking about your political future because of your good looks, your smile, and the sound of your voice. Why? Ah! And the magnificent! If you decide to run for president in 76, who will be your campaign manager? The candy man. Uh, Miss Rhonda, Miss Rhonda, just one question, please. What do you think of President Nixon? I don't know how to love him. Uh, thank you, Miss Rhonda. Uh, uh, Mr. Kissinger, what are you doing all the way over here on this side of the hall? Gotta find a woman, gotta find a woman, gotta find a woman. Now that's it from here, Walter. Thank you, David. Thank you, Sidney. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, 
America. We now return you to your local stations. <laughs> 